Okay, now that we've finished level one, we're ready to kick it up a notch to level two. So the standard for level two says we have to be able to simplify using order of operations, but there has to be three operations, and one of those operations has to be a parenthesis or a grouping symbol. Okay, so here again, if we use our little hierarchy there, I see multiplication, This is a parenthesis. I understand there's a plus in there, but that plus is inside a parenthesis, so I see a parenthesis, and then behind the parenthesis, I see a plus. Okay, so this clearly shows you I've got to do the parenthesis part first, then I'll deal with the multiplication, then I'll deal with the addition. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it in that order. So parenthesis first, this part right here, 2 plus 8, that's 10. Okay. And this part right here, because we're moving into Algebra 1, we're going to take us away from middle school and take us more to high school. So in high school, we don't put this little X here. We're going to put a dot. So when we write it down, we're going to go 12 and dot. Don't put a dot down there like it looks like you're doing a decimal. Make sure it's right in the middle. And then go ahead and bring down your plus 7. Okay. Now, between multiplication and addition, which one goes first? Well, the multiplication. So I'll go 12 times 10, which is 120. Bring down the plus 7. Go ahead and put those two together, which is 127. Writing this down on the side is really just a tool. Maybe you write it down at the top and then you only use it one time and kind of just keep looking up. Okay, but we're using this to kind of talk about exactly what you're seeing here. Okay, so I do see a set of parentheses. Not subtraction, you see a set of parentheses. And anything inside that parentheses is going to be taken care of up here. Okay, so I see a parentheses. I see an exponent. And I see multiplication. Kind of written as that x again, but we'll write it the high school way. So 12 minus 2, we've got to do that part first inside the parentheses. So that's 10. We're going to take that 10 and we're going to square it times 8, because that exponent is going to come next. So remember that 10 squared is 10 times 10. Okay, so we can write that down if we need to. 10 times 10 is 100. And then times that by 8, 100 times 8 is 800. Okay, let's slide down here to the next one. Oh, I said we were going to take this up a level and then I didn't do it. There we go. Okay, so what do I see here? I see parentheses. I don't see any exponents. So I do see that set of parentheses. Now inside the parentheses, I do see addition, but that's going to happen up here at parentheses, so don't mark it down here with addition. So I see parentheses. What's going on in between this 12 and the parentheses? That is multiplication. That's 12 times whatever's going on in here. So that's multiplication, and then I have subtraction. So we'll work our way down. We'll do the parenthesis part first, then the multiplication, then we'll subtract. Okay, so parenthesis first, 1 plus 3 is 4, so we can write this 63 minus 12. You can write a parenthesis here, or you could just do this, times 4 up to you. You can put that parenthesis there or you don't have to. Okay, now this multiplication has to come next. 63 minus 12 times 4 is 48. And now we're going to come down here at the base level and do the subtraction.
Okay, a couple more. Right now I would pause the video and I would do these on my own if I were you. I would pause and check to make sure, I would do the problem and then check back to see if it matched up. Okay, so because you're gonna pause it, I'm gonna go through this a little bit quickly so you should have already worked through these three problems as we continue here. Okay, so I'm gonna go inside the parentheses first. So I've got two plus two, and then because there's a parenthesis there, that's actually multiply. 48 divided by eight is six. So now I'll do this multiplication. And then I'll finish it up with my addition. Okay, again, I have a set of parentheses. These will have grouping symbols. So here's my parentheses. I've got 54 minus three times. Two times eight, that's 10. Sorry, two plus eight, that's 10. I'll do my multiplication next. And then my subtraction. Okay, so finally, letter F. This one does not have grouping symbols. Okay, we wanted, I wanted to throw a problem at you that had three different operations but didn't have a set of grouping symbols. But in order to get that level two, there will be grouping symbols. Um, the question was, which one do we do in which order? Okay, so I have exponents here, I have division, and then I have addition. So that's the hierarchy. Exponent's gonna come first, so eight times eight is 64. And then because it's divided by four, that part has to come next. 64 divided by four is 16. Two plus 16 is 18. Okay. If you found those problems to be really simple, you can give uh, a chance at these problems here. These are level three, a little bit higher problems. You can give those a shot if you'd like for some extension or some extra practice.